What's going on guys? So today we're out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at what has to be one of my favorite travel trailers with no slides. When you look inside of this unit, you are going to be shocked. I really think so, because they have done so many cool things to the floor plan inside of this unit that I think will impress you. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, let's take a look at the numbers. So this has a 6,608 pound gross vehicle weight rating, rides on twin 3,500 pound axles, D-rated 14 inch tires. Now, I would typically say that it's 6,608 pounds with 1,406 pounds worth of cargo capacity, that this is easily half ton towable if you have the right package. 6,000 pounds is usually the average of what I would say is appropriate for half ton. The reason why I would likely recommend a three quarter ton for this trailer, not only because it's over 6,000 pounds, 6,600, but mainly because of the length. This is a pretty long travel trailer. It's gonna be upwards of about, I'm gonna say 28 to 30 feet long. So it's a relatively long trailer. And that length is the main reason I would probably recommend a three quarter ton truck for this specific unit as a 5,164 pound dry weight, you're likely to load this thing up to probably around 6,000 pounds. Again, you could get away towing this with a half ton truck, but my suggestion would be a three quarter ton truck just because of the overall length. But let's get on to the rest of this. So let's first quickly walk around the outside because I know you guys are dying to see the inside. You have a very, very, very compact pass-through storage entrance from this side. The other side I can tell is much larger, so I'll show you that when we get there. Outside of your water heater, this is gonna be your fresh water connection. Right here, you have another little storage area. That's kind of cool, wasn't expecting that. You have your galley tank connection here, which is generally gonna be a gray tank for your kitchen. Right here is gonna be your 30 amp connection, already installed. Twin axles has kind of a wider track to it. Not really, it doesn't have a suspension equalizer. This is all areas that I would suggest upgrading relatively soon. This is the Puma XLE model, extra light edition. Outside shower, you have your city water connection right there. And then your main sewer connections are right here, both your gray and your black tank and your low point drains. This utilizes manual scissor style stabilization. And this does utilize incandescent lighting. Plus it's wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. This is a very value oriented unit because they haven't done a lot on the outside to make this flashy. But again, wait until we get inside. Keep in mind, no slides. Coming around this way, this is likely to have a pretty nice outside kitchen. And it does. So not only does it have a graystone griddle on a pull-out tray, but it also has a pull-out sink and a compact refrigerator. Very nice. Has a huge awning that extends pretty much from the back of the unit to about four feet shy of the front roof section. It's gonna cover up pretty much everything here. Castle Rock ST tires. Frame on this unit is a six inch main I-beam frame. Let me show you this front basement storage before we hop inside. So on this side, you can see how large it is. You have a good size pass-through storage on this side. It's just that right there is blocking access to the other side, but it still fit quite a few things. And it's good that they put the storage hatch on the camping side or the park side, because this is the side you're likely to spend the most time trying to access stuff on. It has a spot for twin 30 pound tanks up front plus an electric front tongue jack. Does not have frameless windows, but that's okay. Let's take a look inside of this 23 BHC. So first of all, it has an MSRP of 32,515 and it has a sale price of $23,715. It's a pretty good deal. Has a beautiful front kitchen area. I love the white cabinetry mixed with the more neutral browns. Just a very, very nice inviting interior. And there's a lot of room in here. Plenty of countertop space up here. Place for a coffee maker there. Three burner cooktop. Has a nice compact Magic Chef stainless steel microwave. Some drawers right here. 
12 volt refrigerator, which is really nice. The new Everchill that you're starting to see. Nice little seating area right here. And it's kind of compact, but it looks super comfortable. And when seated, it faces a TV mount up there, which is really nice. You have a booth style dinette right here, which converts into a bed. This also is a jackknife, so it converts into a bed. And then you have bunk space back here, plus a single air conditioning unit up top that is ducted. You have your entertainment system right here. This is just a super cool layout. The layout itself is indicative of what you might see in some far more expensive units, like even some Airstreams. Plenty of room in here, a lot of room to travel front to back, and the light tones really keep it from feeling claustrophobic inside. Nice valances, cabinetry, a lot of storage everywhere. You have two bunks back here, and they're good sized bunks. They look to be about four feet wide and about six feet long. You have a nice curtain that covers this area up. Coming inside of the bathroom space, you can see that you have a huge shower basin in here and you have plenty of height. You could probably be upwards of about six foot three to comfortably fit inside of the shower stall. It does have a plastic toilet. Again, this is a value-based unit. Cornered sink, nice medicine cabinet back here. Again, lighter tones, which is really nice. If you look at the valances, you'll see how they blend the lighter and darker tones, darker furniture, but then the back of the cushions for the dinette are lighter. This is just a super cool unit. Coming up front, you can see this has a queen size bed and it has plenty of room at the end of the bed and on the sides of the bed to get on. This does have a front windshield. So if you're into that, you have the ability to look out at night, which is really nice. From a security perspective, I think a lot of people appreciate that as well because it gives you a little bit better situational awareness of what's going on around the unit. Good size wardrobes on each side of the bed. This is the pass-through storage underneath and you have these huge kind of end tables because of that. Good size windows. You have a place to mount a TV on a swivel arm. Another window over here. And I almost missed this. So you have some really nice cabinetry underneath. Nice pull-out drawers. Cool little space. I mean, tell me what you think. Because I really liked this interior when I saw it. And this was actually one of the main reasons I came out here today was to film this specific unit. Because a lot of people are looking for lower cost, more compact, you know, a lot of sleeping accommodation, something that gives you a lot of flexibility. And I think this unit accomplishes that very well. Plus it gives you a space here if you have a litter box or a dog kennel, something you want to throw underneath there, which is really nice. You can kind of see back there. And again, what about these? This is really cool. You have some USB power connections there so the kids can charge their stuff. 300 pound weight capacity on this top one. I think this is a really, really good option for families who don't want a unit with slides. They want something that's relatively compact. It's not really that compact. Again, I would recommend a three quarter ton for this, but the numbers would kind of signify that, you know, a half ton truck with the right payload package, the right towing package should be able to tow something like this. But you definitely want to be careful and make sure you have the right vehicle for something like this. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.